G'day everybody. In an attempt to uh, get internet for most of the yard, I've put an Ubiquiti Networks Pico station up here on the uh, wind turbine mast. And uh, they say it's, uh, well the salesman said it's all weather, so we'll see how it goes. Just need to run the um, network cable down the um, rigging for the uh, wind turbine here. And we'll just run it inside the house through the window with the other network cable. See how that goes. And uh, we'll see how long it lasts in the Australian sun and whatever other nasty weather that is uh, on its way. So uh, we'll have to uh, stop this video here and then I'll uh, hook it up to power. It's already configured. Just need to plug it into the router inside. And. Um, We'll see how it goes. We'll see how far down the yard I can get uh, Wi-Fi. I was hoping just to get Wi-Fi inside the workshop there, so should be good. They say it's got a uh, a 500 meter outdoor range, but we know that's going to be uh, dependent on the signal getting back from the device in question. Uh, they also say it's got a one kilometer range in Air Max mode, so point to point with another device the same. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, just a pretty ghetto bodge up and um, see how it goes. Well, so I'm out here with the tablet now. Of course, we're not that far from the, the unit at all, so we should be getting a pretty good signal as you'd expect. But um, what we'll do is, light came on on my phone for some reason, but uh, see if I can get open signal here. Go. Bastards driving past my house beeping their horns. So we've got connection for sure. Right, all right, all right. Come on, machine. Open that up. Disclaimer, thank you. I don't want that, I don't want that skip to a uh, data great Wi Fi. Right, so it doesn't actually know what direction the um, Wi Fi signal is coming from, I don't think, because it's wrong. It's out by Almost 180 degrees. I think that's actually pointing to the cell tower. Right, so we're 22 milliseconds and this is where I wanted to get... Oh, it's even doing download speed. Cool. Upload speed as well. Nice. Very nice. And this is out in the yard. And I'm still getting full signal by the... A little bit further away from it now. And we've got metal and all sorts in between. Let's have a look between the containers. Ideally... Oh, there we go. It's dropping off in between the containers. Now it'd be a good... Not even line of sight. So let's run the test again. See how uh, crappy it gets. And a little bit more latency. I think 2 megabit is still pretty um, reasonable for this range. Mind you, my upload speed is actually only about 1.8 megabit anyway, so. This is pretty good, but, alright, let's get a bit further away. Once again, we're in between the containers, and there's all sorts of metal between us and the base station now, so... It's pretty good if I can still get the signal all the way out here. And I'll move into a position where it's line of sight again. So we've got line of sight to the wind turbine tower off in the distance again. Run the test again. Damn you light, I didn't ask you to turn on. 
See, line of sight, we get much better signal, of course. Much better signal. Download speed. Come on, what are you doing? Upload speed. What are you doing? No, it's going to fail. Are we failing? What? Upload speed? No, 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 no. That didn't happen. God, sorry about the bad focus. Test again. We're getting five megabit and we're further away. <laughs> cool. Cool. I don't mind that at all. I don't mind that at all. All right, let's get even further away again. We're getting really to the edge of the work area. Or I wouldn't normally be, I wouldn't normally be out this far and expecting internet or using it. But hey, we're all about um, testing. So we have lost quite a few bars now. Definitely not. Oops, still got good latency. We're down into the kilobits now, but it's still working. I think that's a, a win. I've got everything in between. I mean, oh wow, that reflective tape on the back of the bus really works really well. Um, I'd say we're at least, I would have to be close to 100 meters now, I'd say. I don't know, I'm, I'm bad with meters. Maybe it's a lot less, I don't know. All right, well, let's try a different direction. Let's go out onto the grass. which is the opposite side of the pole to the Pico station. I mean, seriously, to have internet out here is great. This has never happened before. Never happened before. So, on the opposite side of the pole, so we actually will have the... Um, the poles actually the metal in the way we're still getting a good half signal on the tablets reception bar so we'll, we'll test again oh, that's horrible. Focus on that screen. horrible <laughs> I will say I'm, I'm pretty happy with that I mean I didn't expect it to get this far even but we are and like I said I am standing behind the um, the mast now so the mast is actually blocking the signal Go a bit further out here. Oh, I'm bad with meters, but I'd say I'd have to be at least a hundred meters from the. I'd say I'm, oh, I've got to be a hundred meters from the pole now. Maybe a little bit less. What is it? It's 200. This whole, this whole uh, grass is about 200. We're well over halfway across the grass now. So, you bastard, turn on. Alrighty. Oh well, you bastard light, you're still gonna come on. So this is about as far as I think I'll ever really going to go. So we're going to hit that test button. I mean, this is just ridiculous. I'm, I don't need internet out here on the grass. But it's still getting what you'd call a broadband speed, I would say. That's ridiculous, and look, I've got three quarters of three quarters of a uh, signal bar still. Yep, I think that's enough for this video. I think I've proven that the little Pico station does very well for itself, and uh, I will check to see if it's uh, got similar signal on my phone here, and then see how we go. But thanks for watching.